Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm here in Las Vegas at Samsung's first look event for their new TVs for 2019. And what the company has done is to unveil the world's first 75-inch micro-LED TV. Now, if you remember from CES last year, 2018, Samsung unveiled the 146-inch micro-LED. And what the South Korean brand has actually done in the meantime is to try and miniaturize these very, very small LEDs into a size that can actually fit onto a 75-inch screen while still maintaining 4K resolution. And the appeal of micro-LED TVs are, first of all, it is a self-emissive display, just like OLED. So it is actually capable of true blacks. It is capable of a very wide viewing angle that doesn't actually degrade in terms of the contrast and saturation of axis. But what is appealing about micro-LED over, let's say, OLED is that micro-LED uses inorganic material and so it should have a longer lifespan and also immunity to burn in, according to Samsung. Now, Samsung claims that this micro-LED TV is also capable of very high peak brightness and also high color volume, which means that it can actually maintain its color saturation at high peak brightness. Samsung cites 100% GCI-P3 color volume coverage. Now, in this presentation, Samsung has been stressing the word freedom, and there are four factors of freedom that makes micro-LED a superior choice versus other display technologies on the market and I'm going to list all four factors of freedom here. First is freedom of size. Because micro LED is modular, you can put different number of modules to build any size you want. So for example, this micro LED is 75 inch in screen size, but Samsung has also taken the opportunity at this show to unveil a micro LED that is a massive 219 inch in screen size and therefore you can actually build to as large as you want you know let's say if you have a wall that is as big as President Trump's wall is going to be you can actually use Samsung's micro LED modules to actually build that wall the second factor is freedom of ratio because it is modular you can basically build any sort of aspect ratio you want either 69 and maybe for some of you CinemaScope fans out there, maybe a 21.9 or even a really unusual aspect ratio like 32.9 or even let's say a window size like 1 to 7. You can build any aspect ratio you want. Now the third factor of freedom is freedom of bezel. So because micro LED can be so modular, you can actually build it without any bezel whatsoever, making it totally bezel free. And the fourth factor is freedom of resolution. Because the pixel density can be maintained for each module, you can basically stack on as much module as possible, build it to an 8K television, a 10K television, and even an infinite resolution. So those are the four factors of freedom. Freedom of size, freedom of ratio, freedom of bezel, and freedom of resolution. And Samsung has kept stressing the word freedom over and over and over again at the risk of sounding like an advert for tampons for ladies. But freedom certainly is a word of choice here to describe the micro LED technology and Samsung certainly believes in it. So this Samsung First Look event feels more like a technological showcase than an actual launch. So there are not many products on this show floor that has specific model numbers, specific specifications. I think what Samsung wants us to do is to look at the bigger picture. And you can't really get a bigger picture than the 219 inch, the wall. This is Vincent Thiel here reporting from Las Vegas at CES 2019. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HGTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.